guys and welcome to today's video as you can tell from the title it's very obvious it is a study with me video and even though it's like midway through the day i just thought i wanted to introduce this video because i needed to kind of like contextualize where i am right now my first study with me video was at home because it was the winter holidays the christmas holidays and i was studying because i had mock exams at the start of this term um but now it's the new year it's a new term and so I'm back already. Time has gone so fast, but anyway, that happens. It's currently Wednesday today and I've been back. I came back on Saturday, so I haven't been here for that long, but I finished my mocks. I had two exams yesterday and on Monday. Lectures and term officially starts tomorrow on Thursday. It always starts on Thursday. That's like official start of week one, but because um, my course is the way it is, um, we start two days early. We've started lectures yesterday, so I've already had three lectures, which is great. Um, so basically, I've already kind of started working um, in terms of lectures and stuff. I have my first supervision tomorrow. But anyway, I hope this makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more study with me videos as well as other stuff like that. Uni vlogs, you know, the drill. <laughs> Hey guys, so I should probably say good morning because it was the morning when I woke up. It was probably like 8 o'clock, I don't really know. But it was kind of still dark so I had to turn my lights on. And as you can clearly tell, I was quite tired after a couple of days of mock exams. I got up, I got dressed, went into the bathroom and yes, you know, reappeared fully clothed. Well. I was wearing shorts and that was a bad idea because it was actually quite cold. I shoved on my fluffy boots which I've actually got quite recently, I got them over the Christmas holidays and I basically then sat down and started to work. I don't know what time this was but obviously I started my day with making my to-do list because personally I find that making to-do lists helps me structure my day and plan out what I'm going to do so that I can maximise my time and be as productive as possible. Like in my other study video, I was kind of transferring some stuff onto a new to-do list because the other one was getting a bit too crowded. And yes, as we're going to highlight here, I wanted to organise my folders and that is what I'm going to show you in this video, which will come about halfway through, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so to-do list and a bit of diary organisation was done and then I just started to work. Or maybe not. This thing is so fat, it won't even come out the ring binder. Pretty fat. So I thought that I would start my day before eating breakfast. I just wanted to read these lecture notes because I had a lecture that day at 12 and I like to try and read my notes before so that I know what's going on in the lectures because often they'll go quite fast and you might miss things. Oh, it's too fat. I need to take out the staples. And often when you're like in the middle of the booklet, it doesn't stay open, do you know what I mean? Like you have to press it down and you can't really write that well on it or like get into the corners, which I don't really like. So I kind of dismantle it. I did it last time and it works pretty well. And then that way I can just take the lectures that are relevant instead of carrying the whole thing around. So yeah, as I just said, I decided to like dismantle this booklet which is a booklet for the whole term containing all the lecture notes for every lecture of Lent term which is the second term at uni for me so yeah it was a quite a struggle because the booklet is really fat and the staples were really well jammed in but anyway we were successful and then we finished reading through the notes so what I do is I use a colored Bic pen I love Bic pens they're so easy to write with um, in this case I was using a blue one if you couldn't see just thought I'd point out the obvious and I just go along with a ruler I don't know why I like to underline things with a ruler and I've just got into this habit of doing it and it's kind of Holly's little way of highlighting the key points in the text so I think that took me about like 30 to 40 minutes and by this time I was getting really hungry so I then decided to make breakfast and I just thought I'd show you cutting my mango because I think it's quite therapeutic to watch and if you were paying quite close attention you will have seen me grab my blanket because I was wearing shorts and that was a bad idea because it was cold. 
Whilst eating breakfast, I then just check my emails and went on my computer for the first thing that day because when term starts, you get a bombardment of emails. And then after that, I'd finished my breakfast and I got back to work. I had to close the curtain as you just saw because the light was so bright, it was just reflecting off the screen and I couldn't work. But we'd set ourselves up and we first started off with writing out some of the notes from the lecture that I'd had the day before this. So I made notes on this really scrap old bit of paper and I didn't really like that so I just thought in my time this morning I would just write out those notes and I thought that by writing them out I could check that I understood everything and add any extra details if I'd missed them in the lecture so I went online, I used our Moodle or VLE that we have access to, got up the PowerPoint and just made sure that my notes were comprehensive and I'd understood everything. I did a bit of research on the side because something I was a bit confused about, it was this experiment that they were going on about in the lecture. So I searched that on the web, Google, which like always came to the rescue. So because I had some questions about my colour coordination for the notes that I make, I thought I'd just mention here briefly because I will make a video about full revision notes and how I make those in the future, but here I was using my blue big pen to write the bulk of the content out and then the green was just to write about the experiments that had been done so it was the experimental evidence because obviously I do a science degree and this year especially more so than first year the lectures focus not only on the content and the stuff that we're trying to understand but they like to see how we know things and find out where this evidence came from so that's quite important for me as a science student and in second year. I'm so sad because my red pick pen ran out and I don't have another one out, just bashed my elbow. So I'll have to use this stabulo because I just need a bit of red to finish my notes. This is what we've done. Written out these notes and just gone on to another sheet here. Okay, so it was probably about 11.30 because I had a lecture at 12, so I needed to start sorting myself out for that. Go to my lecture now, it's the furthest out, so I need to cycle, but it should be okay. And my neighbour has just started playing the piano. Love that. So, we're gonna get dressed, open this curtain. Oh, wow. Rocking up in shorts and my fluffy boots and that would just be great but it'd be too cold and people would probably be staring at me like why the hell is she doing yeah so i had to change into something other than shorts and i quickly packed my bag and actually remembered my glasses shove you in my bag because you're coming as well so especially at the start of term because i don't wear my glasses that often when i'm at home and i need them for lectures mostly i actually forget that i wear glasses but today i didn't forget Anyway, so we went to our lecture, it was a pathology lecture as you can see, we're doing bacteriology, all about bacteria, and I just sat on my phone before the lecture started because I hadn't checked the Instagram feed that day, so that was something that I did quickly, and then I basically sat through the lecture. Okay, so one o'clock, and it's now lunchtime because Holly is very hungry at this point. The sun is still too bright, literally. It's like right in the middle. Oh, I feel like a recluse when I have to close the curtains. Oh well. And obviously the hair goes back in a bun because I cannot really work with my head down and on my neck. It might actually not be so bad. Yeah, we figured that the sun had decided to go in a bit, so it was a bit easier to see my screen and to work at this point in time. Oh, say hello for the Instagram boomerang, people. <laughs> anyway, so I ate my lunch, and just for your information here, I just thought I'd tell you, I'm not showing you everything that I'm eating during this day. I will do maybe a study with me what I eat in a day video at some point, but just to let you know, I do snack all the time, so this is not everything that I'm eating during the day. Um, but anyway, so we've been like set some papers to read for this thing called journal club we're doing this term and we had to, we have to like read three papers that they've given us and then we have to, we had to pick one from like 
loads that they sent across so so they sent across loads of these papers all in this folder here with like these ones here and then there are loads in like folders as well so yesterday evening i basically went through the most of these papers read the titles read some of the introductions or whatever like the first few lines to see what they were about um just so i get a little flavor so i'm like not the best at making decisions so it basically takes me a while but this decision actually wasn't too bad because i found this paper and you know why i chose it so this one paper that i've just been reading now and i've been making some notes on um here is about plant immunity so i read this and you know the first word in the paper was rice and i was like yes please this is holly's type of article so yeah it's been quite a good one i was like that is definitely up my street Oriz Oriza Sativa O R Y Z A Fun fact of the day scientific name for rice and so yeah I was just basically talking about how rice is threatened by like bacterial and fungal diseases and stuff and, like, oh, imagine if I can't have rice so I was like I definitely need to read this paper <laughs> because I need to know how to fix this problem <laughs> so yeah gonna read some other articles now my curtains just finished reading the article wrote up the notes and now i want to just sit down and just talk to you guys about the folders and my folder organization and now that i have actual ring binders um and i've started to like put my stuff away and file it away i thought i would tell you guys how i do it so yeah i do it in kind of a set way i've done it all throughout my school years and i continue to do it now because i love folders i love using them they work really well for me so i use these these are like smaller ones um as like wow they just are falling off my lap so i just use like these kind of regular sized ones like your average ring binders to file the work in that i am currently working on so for example well my cdb module say so like this one here we had one lecture and we've been given the lecture notes for like the next six lectures apparently according to this thing that it says here so this folder will be used for like this lecture series and then it will i will put all like the work from the practicals related to this lecture series and the supervision work that i do related to this in this folder because i'll be taking it around with me for the next week or so so like this is my one for pathology which has got this massive booklet in it and this one as you can see like it's so ratty because i literally take them everywhere with me and this is the one that i'm starting for neuro um i talked more about the modules that i'm doing this year in my latest q a video and then if i have things that are just like haven't been hole punched or some extra booklets i'll often use just these like standard popper folder things so basically that's my stuff that i use when i'm going out and about and the stuff i'm actively working on and then the main event most of my organization then takes place in my ring binders so like the bigger folders so because i'm doing three modules this year it makes sense for me to have three when i did like a levels and i was doing four as's i had four obviously here they all are now and these are organized using dividers and stuff so i organized these at home before i came because i've kind of only just moved back to uni so i'm gonna like show mm. what i do who's messaging me now i'm gonna show what i do in terms of like organizing them So here we are back again with the voiceover. I bet you missed me. Anyway, here we go. So I'm just labeling up my dividers and for this folder, it was my CDB one. I was labeling them accordingly. So I had a section for my revision notes, a, le a separate section for my practical revision notes. One was essays, as I'm showing you here. I had another for past papers, one that would be for my practical notes and the lecture notes that we are actually given like the handbooks as opposed to my revision notes I've made so here we go this is the full list 
And then it's just a case of putting everything into the correct sections. So because I didn't have ring binders for my first term, I wasn't doing this as I go along, which I would normally do. So it just meant that over the holidays, I just had to put it all in sections and really organize my folders, which were overflowing. And this was the smaller ones I just showed you before. So. Yes, empty folder. Yeah, it was just a case of going through and sectioning out my work, putting it in the big wing binders, and that was it. All nicely organised. Okay, so this is my one for like CDB, and as you can see down the side, so it's got dividers in it. The smaller folders I never put dividers in because I will often like transfer all my work into these ones quite soon, so, you know. And literally, before I make you bored of folder organisation, I just wanted to show you some little hacks that I was taught by my sister, actually, so these are courtesy of my sister. Thanks, Em. So basically, if you're using paper dividers and you want them to be a bit more durable, then what you can do is you can grab some sellotape and just stick it over the edge, as I'm showing you here, cut down and trim down the sides, and it means that they don't rip as easily and I also put sellotape sometimes over the um, holes where it like inserts into your folder because they can become a ratty and they might rip sometimes so just thought I'd show you that but yeah my folder organization is just portable folders and like storage folders and then some dividers in my storage folders and regular kind of weekly organization sessions which doesn't take more than like 10 minutes so it's most important when it comes to revision because all your work is filed away in one place. Okay, and now, so folder organisation is coming into practice here, so I needed to find my practical notes because that is what I wanted to work on, so I quickly whipped those out. And I should say, actually, this is for my pathology module or biology of disease. And the bit of work that I was doing this afternoon was something that I'd been set to do over the holidays. I'd done most of it over the Christmas holidays. And that was to like organize my practical notes from last term to make sure that they were ready for when I came to revise everything nearer towards the exam. So I just had to finish off a few questions that were incomplete still. And I'm now in the print room. Okay, so that sudden panic was because I basically put my paper in and the printer just decided to start printing. Well, I thought it was going to start printing anyway and I always get really worried that somebody is going to have not put paper in and their 100 page essay or something is going to start using my paper. So I get quite worried about that. But anyways, I it didn't print that and I managed to sort it out and I did my printing and then I went straight back to my room because I had dance today. So at 4 o'clock I think I had to be at rehearsal oh, actually not four o'clock you can see the time uh, I needed to be at rehearsal at five o'clock so I was just filing my work back into its appropriate folders and I got dressed and I went to dance I first had a tout rehearsal at Homerton so I had to cycle pretty far out um, so I was just showing on my tap shoes as you do warmed up a bit did the rehearsal and then we cycled back after the rehearsal this is not my helmet actually it's my friend Izzy's it's a lot nicer than my helmet can we just appreciate that I shoved on my scarf yeah I know it's not the most fashionable way to start wear a scarf but it keeps oh. you warm people food I'm so hungry this lamp makes this really weird noise and I need to go and sort it out with housekeeping because I can't work and have my lamp on at my desk because it makes this horrible noise it's like a bee like a constant bee mm. Yeah, so you couldn't actually hear the noise it was making, so it sounds as if I'm just complaining about something that's non-existent, but it does actually make this really, really strange buzzing bee sound, which is so irritating when you're trying to work. But anyway, so I had my tap rehearsal, I had then um, two hours of conditioning and other rehearsals, I came back and I had my dinner. Um, my face is a reaction to like my mum was talking about on FaceTime, so I called home and I then decided to get some work that I was going to do after I'd finished my dinner quickly which I didn't actually work on for very long because it was getting quite late and you know my bed was calling for me and you have to get your priorities straight when you're at uni. Sorry my face is really wet I just literally stepped out the shower um because I thought I started at 10 tomorrow and I just realized in the shower I just had this revelation suddenly I remembered I was like 
have supervision tomorrow at 8 30 a.m that start time is quite different so i have a supervision at 8 30 tomorrow and oh, i'm greeted on the first official day of term back with a supervision two lectures a practical and then holly's going clubbing wow i've been convinced by the dance girls to go out like i need to like sort my stuff out i need to sort my life out for this supervision tomorrow i i'm supposed to know what questions i had about this practical stuff we did in the holidays it's half 11 because i got back from dance late <laughs> not good and i maybe decided to watch some youtube but that's totally okay, you need downtime people, we need to appreciate this. But maybe it would have been a better idea to do that when it wasn't so late. But anyways, I quickly sorted out my folder for my 8.30 supervision. And I should be going to bed, but I mean, guys, we have to appreciate this. We hit 40k on YouTube! Cheeky little boomerang, why not? Yeah, I just wanted to say I'll throw it in and out. Thank you so much guys for 40k on YouTube. It did make my day. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Goodbye!